Hi, everybody. Welcome to story time. It's another week, another story, another time to chat and hear me read. I'm so glad you all have joined me. As always, it's an honor to be able to do this and come back and share stories and talk to y'all. So as you can tell, this one is pre-recorded and sometimes we're live, sometimes we're pre-recorded. I uh, would love to welcome any of our new friends watching and any of our old friends that join every week. I love you all. And I'm so grateful uh, to be able to do this. If you would like, check out rosedynasty.org. Check us out on Rose Dynasty Foundation on Instagram, on YouTube, if you've got friends that aren't on Facebook and they want to watch us on YouTube. And we even stream sometimes on Twitch. So I would love to uh, hear your feedback. And if you have stories that you would like to see me read or um, just want to share something, shoot me a message. So today we're going to be reading My Mommy Hung the Moon. It's a love story by Jamie Lee Curtis and Laura Cornell. Pretty good book. Jamie Lee Curtis has written some really good books, and I've read most of them already. So this is one I've not read. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. My Mommy Hung the Moon. My Mommy Hung the Moon. She tied it with strings. My Mommy is good at everything. Our mommies can be really good at stuff, right? She lit up the sun so bright and so round. She puffed out each and every cloud. Stretched trees from the ground. Her mommy is pretty awesome. They've done a lot, huh? When she, pour, when she pours down rain, it's wet and dark. I climb up on her like she's Noah's Ark. She zaps out thunder and makes lightning glow. Then crayons, for me, makes a giant rainbow. Look at that. We love giant rainbows. I like rainbows. Do you? I like seeing rainbows after it rains. The feathers of the bird, she taught them to chirp. She taught me to speak and my cousins to burp. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I have to burp. And it's cool that their mommy taught their cousins how to burp, right? She grows all the food and makes it from scratch. Wow. Do you have your mommy? Does your mommy or your or your daddy or any of your parents, do they grow things from scratch and make their own food? I bet some of you have gardens. And when she bakes me cookies, it's a big mama batch. Oh, my goodness, all of those cookies. Those are lots and lots and lots and lots of cookies. I know my friend Hunter, their dad makes cookies. Their dad makes really good cookies. She writes all the books. She made me a TV. She drew every tune, boxed all the DVDs. She webbed all the world. She dotted the com. She, she eed the email. <laughs> my own CD mom. Look at that. Their mom has done a lot of things. Yeah. My mommy's the boss. She drives in the pool. She cures all the sick. She works every tool. She zooms in the car and boy, she goes fast. All those rocket ships Guess who made them blast? So their mommy knows all the cures and has helped make all kinds of stuff. Pretty cool. She flies all the planes. She rows all the ships. She makes my new kite do spins and backflips. She molds every ball and carves rackets and bats. Stealing the bases. She's really good at that. She buzzed every bee, she spun every spider, she growled every bear, and she striked every tiger. My mommy makes music, and boy, can she rock. We hip and hop, and my mommy moonwalks. Can you moonwalk? I can't. I tried. My feet are not that coordinated. 
Do you like to dance and like music? I do. She rules the world from her throne. She's my queen. My mommy is nice and she's never mean. It's a pretty cool mommy, huh? I bet we all have parents that are that awesome. She pours all the seas and sparkles each star. And then she collects them at night in a jar. Yeah. And when she paints the night so jet black and deep, my mother, she rocks me gently to sleep. I dream about how she gave me my start. I love my mommy with all my heart. And then when I sleep all safe in my nest, my mommy stays up and does all the rest. I'm sure we all have parents or guardians that do that, right? That they stay up and take care of everything while we're sleeping. My mommy hung the moon. She tied it with a string. My mommy is good at everything. This is awesome. That was a great book. Did you like that book? I did. We all have parents that are good at everything, right? Sometimes we have mommies or daddies or moms and dads or just moms or just dads or we stay with our grandparents or our aunts and uncles or our friends that take care of us. All of our adults in our life, they're pretty awesome, huh? They try to take their best care of us. I love that. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed that book. I did. It was a great story. You should check out more. If you have some stories that you'd like to hear me read that you haven't, please feel free to send me a message. If you would love to send us books, we would love to have them and read them. I would love to continue doing this. We have been doing this for months and months and months and months and months. And even before the pandemic, I was reading every month. So we have been doing this for over a year and a half. And since April, we have been reading a story every month. Sunday. That's a lot. And I love to continue doing it. Thank you all so much for joining in. And I really appreciate your love and support. And as always, remember, you are loved, you are accepted, and you are wanted. And we'll see you next week for story time. Bye, everybody.